All right guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be going over NFT, some really basic stuff on like how to mint them, how to store them, how to use MetaMask, that type of thing. Plus also why it is that you even want an NFT in the first place, what makes them so valuable and how you can actually get your hands on some NFTs for free. This here is MetaMask. And all you need to do is download this. It's a browser extension, as you can see right here, and it's available on Chrome, Firefox, Brave, or Edge. This is the most popular way to store your NFTs and the way that you're gonna to need to log into different websites which use NFT type functionality. Just like this one right here, this is OpenSea, and it's one of the most, in fact, the biggest NFT marketplace in the world. This is where everybody comes to get their NFTs and to look at their NFTs as well. So if we have a look here, uh, we can see you can join this with MetaMask. So all I need to do is open this up. It's gonna ask which account it is that I wanna use. So I just click on the first one there, that will do. And you can just check, you know, you can see the end part of your uh, wallet address. So you, you kind of know which one it is and uh, you just connect that and right away there I am inside my uh, OpenSea and I can see all of my NFTs as well. You'll also be able to see your NFTs on the mobile phone version of MetaMask as well which you can download as an app and you see your NFTs on there but you cannot see your NFTs on this version here. So if you go up there to the extensions uh, we've got the activity, you've got assets but it doesn't yet show your NFTs in the MetaMask browser extension up there. But of course, you can come across to OpenSea, log in with OpenSea, you can see all your NFTs there. You can just click the little button here, you can sell them, transfer them, do whatever it is that you wanna do with your NFTs, or you can just take a look and see what sort of stats they've got. So this one here is one that you'd use in a game. You've got the about section here, you've got levels, agility, brains, intuition, all that type of good stuff, and also the properties as well. This is about the physical appearance. Some things will be more rare than others. Anyway. Unless you've been living under a rock over the last year, then you must have clearly noticed the meteoric rise in the popularity of NFTs, non-fungible tokens. In September, Sotheby's auction sold 101 Bored Ape Yacht Club NFTs for over $24 million. That same month, Christie's exceeded 100 million in NFT sales for this year. I'm sure you've probably also heard the story of the 11 year old kid over in England who made over $400,000 selling his pictures of a whale. And also the poorly pixelated images of the CryptoPunks that may well be the most expensive NFTs of all time. One just sold for $7.5 million. That's right, just for one NFT. Is this because some crazy rich idiots with far less brain cells than yourself have gone out splashing money on complete junk? Or is it that you, for some reason, just are not understanding the value of NFTs? The truth is, it just isn't you. I myself have been into crypto trading, Bitcoin and all that since 2017. And although we were interested in NFTs and some NFT projects, we didn't expect the crazy prices that we've been seeing over the last year. Just imagine being one of those lucky few or 10,000 people which managed to get one of those crypto punks for free, knowing that they're now worth over $100,000. And in that lies one of the key principles that makes NFTs so valuable, and that is the rarity. And no, I'm not just saying that anything which is rare has value, because obviously that is not true. And these NFTs are actually far more than just JPEGs. The majority of the NFT collections being sold today are limited in supply, usually around the 10,000 mark. But not just that, every single NFT is in itself completely unique. Each attribute of the image has a different degrees of rarity within the collection, making some NFTs far more rare and therefore more valuable than others. This rarity can be fully tracked and proven using the blockchain technology that they are built upon. Blockchains like Bitcoin store a ledger of transactions. Anyone with access to the internet can see every single transaction that has ever taken place on the blockchain all the way back 
to 2009. Blockchain is transparent and absolute. NFTs are like a non-fungible Bitcoin, i.e. like a Bitcoin, but it cannot be broken down into smaller amounts like Bitcoin is broken down into Satoshis. So NFTs can only be sold as a whole item, i.e. non-fungible. Here is where the value really lies. So back in the industrial age, people got together to form clubs, lodges, exclusive groups and organisations that members would feel an immense pride to be part of. That time has now passed. And in the same way that nobody rents videos from Blockbuster Video anymore, yet people still enjoy watching movies, people also want to be part of an exclusive club, but they just maybe don't actually desire to leave their house to do it. Instead, they can now access their new community from anywhere in the world using their NFT. They can boast about it all over social media, it really has nothing to do with being just the JPEG. That is merely the graphical image of the NFT. It is the blockchain asset, the code behind the JPEG, that gives you access to these other tangible as well as non-tangible benefits of owning the NFT. And that, really, is just the beginning of it. The online gaming industry is worth $138 billion and expected to rise to over $250 billion by 2025. In-game purchases are a huge part of that figure and people are willing to pay for access to skins, weapons, artifacts, all of those type of in-game items. Unfortunately, the current situation means that those players, once they finish playing the game, all that money just goes right down the drain as they cannot sell on those items that they've purchased. However, if those items were made into non-fungible tokens, NFTs, that means that those digital assets can then be sold on on a secondary market, leaving the player to recoup or even profit from the sale of those possessions. People could actually make real world incomes buying and selling within the digital open world environment. Think GTA 7 maybe. There are also other NFTs that allow access to hidden content behind the scene footage from movies or comic book stories. NFTs that give access to advanced features and services. The possibilities are virtually limitless. But to be completely frank with you, it is absolutely true that the vast majority of stuff that you're gonna see out there from NFTs on the marketplace right now is yes, it is complete and utter junk. So how do you find and profit from the good projects which are out there? Whatever NFT it has been that has come out over the last year or two, the real way to profit has been from buying at the cheapest price. Those cheapest prices are without a doubt as soon as it comes out. So number one, you must absolutely find a way to get into these projects early. Number two, you have to buy in with a strategy. So let's say that you were one of the lucky owners of a cyberpunk now worth like a hundred odd thousand and all of your friends are like super jealous of you with your cyberpunk worth a hundred grand but unfortunately you still live in your mum's basement and uh, you're not doing so well financially. You probably work at McDonald's or something like that because the only way you can actually realize the value of the NFT of the cyberpunk is to sell it. And the problem with that then is that you no longer are a owner of a cyberpunk and maybe you still want to actually own the NFT. So what you need to do is yes, you need to get in early, but you also need to buy maybe two or three of the NFTs. And this is the type of strategy that I would suggest if it's a project that you think has real good potential. So the first of these free NFTs that you purchase during the launch of the project would be sold maybe a week or two afterwards and this should then recoup the full cost of all three leaving you with no money left in the deal. 
The second then could then be sold maybe six months to a year later for a very handsome profit, leaving you with one for yourself so that you can remain part of the community until obviously sometime in the future when you no longer wish to be part of the community and then you can sell it off whenever you see fit. None of this, of course, is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a crypto trader and I'm just sharing with you my personal experience. And one of those experiences would have to be that you should never, ever buy any NFT from a project with unknown backers, i.e. the people which are found in the project. If you do not know who they are, if there isn't a real face behind the project, then you should stay well clear. Back in 2017, there was a load of these ICOs coming out. They would raise $20 million. And then within a couple of weeks, often, uh, they would just completely disappear overnight. And all those people that had bought money in were then just realizing that they had no idea who the owners of this was. It was supposed to be sold as being maybe the next Amazon or something like this. And just one day the website was gone. The social media platforms had gone. Have you heard lately of that Squid Game project which came out? It just rocketed all the way up. Everyone thought it was going to be amazing. I always stay well clear of projects like that. It ended up being a rug pull and everybody lost their money. The same thing can absolutely happen with NFTs if you buy into a project with dodgy people that always hide their identity. And uh, so I think any project really where you cannot see the owners and you cannot have access to their social profiles and the real people behind the project, just stay well clear of those. So what does a good project look like? Well, it looks something like this. So we are Mucho Ninja and I've been on YouTube since the end of 2017 and the membership site here has been running for around the same time. We have over 20,000 members, over 1,800 have upgraded as paid members to gain access to our crypto investment and analysis tools. One of the most popular of which being the trading bot. This trading bot we have remarkably improved lately and on the launch of our Muck Club NFTs, it will be fantastically better and I shall share with that maybe in a future YouTube video. What we wanted to do was offer some NFTs to give access to these more advanced features on the trading bot. So by logging into the website using your NFT, you would then be able to unlock these advanced features and have access to more profitable tools. And though that in itself was a great use case for NFTs, it actually ended up with a much bigger project than that. So we came up with a bigger idea. We wanted to create a game, a play to earn game, which my nine year old daughter actually came up with the story for, and it's called Ninja Kitties. It was such a good story. We're actually having it made up into a real book, a real novel. And then one day, hopefully, fingers crossed, it will in fact end up as a movie. We made a rough copy of the book. We've sent it out to a proper author to write up properly. We also found a good anime artist out in Indonesia to do all of the artwork for the Ninja Kitty NFTs and another artist over in the Philippines who's doing the Cybertronic Muck Club dogs. And those dogs will not just be for the trading bot itself, but they will also, they're also part of the story of Ninja Kitty and you'll be able to use those in the battle tournaments in Ninja Kitty game as well. In fact, there is four different character types available within the Ninja Kitty game. You've got the Ninja Kitties, the Muck Club, Renegades, and the Street Punks as well. And all four of those can battle together in battle tournaments in a play to earn type game. <laughs> Humans were their own greatest threat. During a decades-long global war, as countries fell, corporations took control of the armies. They created bioengineered and cybernetic warriors to replace the weaker humans. When the guns had finally fell silent, what remained of humanity was herded into protective camps, while the manufactured beasts of war roamed the war-torn streets of the old world. The deadliest creatures were the ninja kitty. Anybody! 
I hope you would agree that is pretty cool so our development plan is actually for two games the first is the play to earn online web-based game where you can join forces with other members and form a clan look after them train them up and enter battle tournaments to win prizes etc pretty easy to build so we can get that out pretty quickly the other game is going to be much more story centric and we want to launch that in a series of chapters just like classic games found on Steam like The Long Dark. This will be an open world game that follows the story as laid out in the book. You see, unlike so many of those rubbish NFT projects which are all over the internet right now, we are actually building a real ecosystem. We already have a community. We already have products and we're just adding on some extra features and functionality with these NFTs. And for you watching this right now, if you want one of these Ninja Kitty NFTs, then I have some great news because we have a little bit of a special offer just as we're getting launched here. And for you getting early access into this project, you're going to get the following benefits. So when these Ninja Kitties launch on the 10th of November, they will be selling for 0.07 Ethereum. And that is about roughly $300 right now. And those Ninja Kitty holders are going to be eligible to also get one of the Cybertronic Muck Club, one of the Renegades and one of Street Punks absolutely free. We have 1000 Muck Club free mint passes to give away, 2000 Renegade free mint passes to give away and 3000 Street Punk free mint passes to give away to Ninja Kitty NFT holders. And when the book is finally finished and published, all Kitty NFT holders will be able to log into the site and order a copy for free. So right now we've got some Ninja Kitty free mint passes available to the community at a whopping 90% off. We have available 100 at just 30 pounds, 200 at 60 pounds, 250 at 90 pounds, 250 at 122 and 200 free mint passes at 150. Now I can't guarantee that those free mint passes are still available right now, but if you're quick, you just might be able to click that link below and grab one right now. And then after clicking and securing your Ninja Kitty NFT, go ahead and get access to our Discord community where you're going to be able to watch that little trailer video again. So that is it, guys. This is the opportunity that you have right now. You could have the opportunity to buy at maybe just £30, something which is going to sell at pre-sale or at the main sale for $300. Plus, there's a good chance that the very next day on the open market, this could even be worth considerably more again so a great opportunity as we were discussing earlier to get in on something nice and early plus also don't forget that you're actually getting access to one the free book as well and also the possibility to get access to those free nfts for the muck club the renegades and the street punks to me guys if you're new to nfts we just wanted to put this out there for some people um, that have maybe missed out on the crypto punks and other things which have gone before and we just want to offer this up to some people to get them into the nft community and see what it's all about so i hope this is in front of the right people i hope that you're going to be taking up on this and joining us and being part of this new nft community and that is it for me for now all right so wait right there now before you go ahead and go over to paypal and uh, buy your first free mint pass so you can mint your very first nft for free, zero Ethereum, then what you're gonna need to do is make sure that when you're in the PayPal checkout area, there's gonna be a little button which says something like get redirected back to the merchant or back to the seller or something like that. 
you need to click that button and that's going to take you to a page just like this where you're going to be able to put in your Ethereum wallet address so that you're on the free pass list and every week we're going to be updating that list on the smart contract and we're going to be putting that across onto the uh, the discord group there'll be a link for the discord group down below all you need to do though is click on your metal mask and you can see your wallet address right there just click that and that will copy it to the clipboard and then just paste it in down below there hit the submit button this isn't the actual page okay so the page is actually going to look this one this one here mint your kitty for zero eth pass this is the one but of course i've already done it so i'm already on the list as I mentioned, the Discord group, hit the link in the description down below. It'll bring you to this Discord group where you'll be able to see everybody else in the group joining in the chat, all that type of stuff, but also the announcements. So this is the announcements where we're going to be letting everybody know that we've put up the new list for all the new free mint passes, which are going to be on there. And you can then be able to go on this link right here for the free mint pass and only on this link you're going to be able to actually mint that ninja kitty for free that's it for now see you again next week